Hey guys, in today's video, I want to talk about battery cycle counts on the iPhone and how to obtain that number on any iPhone running iOS 17 or later. Now, this information is so important that Apple has actually provided this information for new iPhones inside of settings. So I have this iPhone 15 Pro Max, and this is available for all iPhone 15 and 15 Pro models. So if you go into settings, you go into general, and then you go into the about section. If you scroll all the way to the bottom, you have a new section here called battery. And of course, this has the manufacture date, the first day of use, which of course was September of 2023, as you can see right there, the day that I bought this iPhone on launch day. And then below that, we have the cycle count. Now the cycle count on my iPhone right now is 45. And I've had this phone for about a month and a half. So that number seems okay, right? Because for those of you that don't know how battery cycle counts work, it is a depleting of the battery of 100%. And it doesn't necessarily mean in one single day, right? So if you have 100% battery life on your device when you wake up in the morning, at the end of the day, you used about 80% and then charge it back up to 100. But the next day, you use another 20%, 80 plus 20 equals 100. So that's one cycle count. So in a month and a half, I've used about 45 cycles on this battery right here. Now, while there isn't a specific number that tells you, hey, at this time, you need to replace the battery of your iPhone, 500 cycles is approaching that number where you most likely need to replace the battery of your device. So if you go on your iPhone and you see that the number is 500 or higher, and your iPhone seems a little slow, the performance of the battery is horrible, and your battery health dropped below 80%, that will most likely mean, hey, you need a new battery in order to get the optimal performance out of your iPhone once again as if it was new. So how do you get this number on any other iPhone that is not an iPhone 15? Well, as I mentioned, new methods have become available, so I'll have a shortcut link in the description down below. There it is, a battery checker, and if you click on it, it tells you how to obtain that, but I'm gonna show you how to do it. So what you wanna do once you download the shortcut to your iPhone, you wanna go into settings, and then you wanna head on over into privacy and security. Now under privacy and security, you wanna scroll down again until you find the analytics and improvement section. Click into that and then go into the analytics data. Right there it is. Now you see all these options here. So you have analytics for several days. So today is November 9th. So I have yesterday's November 8th, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, etc. So right there you wanna choose the latest. For me, it's going to be November 8th because it is November 9th today. So if I click here and I click on the share options, right below here under the share options, I have the battery checker shortcut that we have in the shortcuts app. So go ahead and click on the shortcut and this will go straight to work. You can use this on iPhones and iPads and even the Apple Watch as you can see right here. So of course, this is going to be an iPhone. It's gonna show you the models. So the iPhone 14 Pro Max, right there it is. And now it's going to tell me the information in regards to the battery, same information that we find on iPhone 15 models. So we have right there, the value on the cycles is 300 in 33 as you can see right there the temperature we also have the capacity and more information as you can see right here so it's fairly simple to find this information i'm not sure why apple just doesn't add the same information to older iphones as they did on the iphone 15 lineup but hey this is the easiest and quickest way to find these battery cycle counts again there's no specific number that tells you when it's time to replace the battery as a matter of fact your iphone may even tell you when it's time to replace the battery if you go into the battery section, battery health and charging. If you have a message here telling you that it's almost time to replace the battery or that the battery or performance of your iPhone has been impacted due to the battery, then it may be time. But if you feel like your iPhone isn't telling you that it's time to replace the battery and that cycle count is approaching nearly 500, it may be time to think to replace the battery because oftentimes we don't understand why maybe my phone or someone else's phone's battery health is lower. And oftentimes it has to do with how much they use your phone and of course, the more cycle counts there is, the more time you use your phone, the more times you charge your phone, the more time, of course, you've impacted the battery of that device. And there you guys have it. Again, links will be in the description for the shortcut. That way you can check the battery health on any iPhone running iOS 17 or later. Thank you for watching this quick one and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.